What is up you guys? So in today's video we're going to talk about everything that you can do for editing audio in iMovie for 2022. I will be going over all of the basics as well as all the different functions that you can do inside the audio editing. So that way you can see everything that you can do from different transitions, background music, and the main audio. If you guys want me to do more specific editing videos on iMovie, I can definitely do that. Just leave a comment down below on the specific section or the specific tool that you want me to make a specific video on and I'll be happy to do that but leave a comment down below. All right, so let's hop into it and I hope this helps. So go ahead and hop into iMovie and we're just gonna create a new project for this one. And there we go, we are now in it and I'll just make this full screen. Okay, so first we're gonna talk about separating audio. Now iMovie is really weird. You can't just edit audio by itself. And of course you will be doing it with the video for the most part. I'll just go ahead and show you everything that you can do to edit audio by itself and with video. So unfortunately what happens is you have to import a video clip first before you can start editing the audio. I don't know why iMovie has this, but I haven't really found a way to get around it. You do need to import a video clip before you edit the audio. So we're just going to go ahead and do that now. I'll go ahead and click on the import media. And we are going to find our clip. I already made one from before, so we'll just go ahead and upload that since we're working with just video. And let's go ahead and upload our audio. So for this, I'll just go ahead and do a song here. And then we'll go ahead and do a sound effect so you can see everything. Okay, perfect. Now, if you capture audio and video at the same time and you wanna see a little bit more of a view for your specific audio sections to fix, let's go ahead and check that out. So I'm just gonna upload that and we will zoom in here. Now, as you can see, your, your audio waveforms are super little right there. We're gonna figure out how to separate that audio so you can see it. Now, what I'd like to do is, I'm not super happy with the individual audio settings right now inside iMovie. What I like to do, and you can definitely do this for free as well, is I'll go ahead and separate the audio and export that and send it into GarageBand. From GarageBand, I can get a much better sound than all of the limited tools on iMovie. So to do that, all you need to do is right click on this and you can go ahead and detach audio. Now the shortcut for this is Alt Command B and now you have the video separated from the audio. As you can see when we play this, you can go ahead and tap anywhere and you can hear the audio go along with the video. Alright, now keep in mind now that when these are separated, if you clip this, your video will not match the audio. So when you actually go ahead and split this, you need to make sure that you split it at exactly the same spot for both the audio and the video. That way you won't have any jumbled up mess with the audio not in sync with the video. And it's gonna look really obvious that your words are not matching what's happening on the screen with your audio. Now, if you do mess this up and you can't fix it, nothing's working out, I don't want you to waste your time on this. Just go ahead and hit Command Z and undo that part just so that you can get it on sync and you don't have to worry about that at all. So that's my quick fix for that. Now let's talk about how we're gonna export just the audio. Like I said before, I'll take this into GarageBand. If you like fancier apps, you can use Logic Pro 10. That's another one that's great too. What we're gonna do over here is let's say if we wanna do just the audio, go ahead and click our export at the top here. We'll hit export file. And now we get into the formats. Now the format over here, you wanna hit audio only. And there's a few different file formats. The most universally accepted formats are going to be WAV and MP3. For now, let's just go ahead and do MP3. And we are going to export that. And don't worry about the picture because for this specific one, it's only gonna export the audio and not the picture, even though there's a little preview screen. So if you hit next, you can go ahead and name this. Audio sample, for example. And we're gonna save that to the desktop. Now, when I go back over here, it went ahead and saved it to my main desktop, and that is right here. As you can see, it's just an MP3 file, there's no picture, and you have just the actual music track. So I hope that helps, and like I said, you'll take that into GarageBand, you can edit it there. I'll have another video explaining how to edit audio inside GarageBand to make it super simple, and then you'll just pop that right back into iMovie. All right, so now that you have the audio separated from the video, there are a few options inside of here that are worth your while. If you want to make just a few small changes go ahead and select the audio clip now when you select on the audio clip you'll notice that a couple of these settings will light up 
compared to when you click on the video. So when you have the audio selected, you have these four settings right here. Now on this little volume icon here, this will be your general volume settings. And you also have the option to lower the audio of the other clips. So if you have multiple clips in play, for example, when we do background music, um, different sound effects, and the main audio, you'll be able to balance those right here very quickly. Also, another thing that you can do is you can go ahead and click and drag on this bar over here, and this will do the same thing. If you notice, when I drag it over here, on our top right, you're going to see that fader go up and down from 0 to 400. So those do the exact same thing. Now the other thing is you have two little bubbles over here. And this will be your fade, so you can actually fade into the audio. Now going from left to right, you can determine how long or how short it takes for this fader to come in. And this is just a gradual increase in volume to whatever point you want to set it to. Now those are the general volume settings. You have three other settings here. If you go over to this levels icon, this is going to do a reduced background noise and you also have equalizer presets. Now equalizer, that's just a fancy word to say. You're gonna be able to balance the different lows or highs in your voice and get a more overall balanced sound. So on this equalizer, you have different presets. Now, as far as I'm aware, you can't individually change these settings. They're only presets. And if you found a way to get around this, feel free to message me. But as of right now, I'm not too sure how to get into the individual manual settings for this. They're only the presets. Now, if you're a guy, generally you want to have a low cut or a treble boost in this case. So I would do maybe a bass reduce so your voice sounds a little bit higher. And then if you are a lady, you'll want to do treble reduce here because your voice is naturally high. So you want to get more low sounds. So kind of think of it opposite. If your voice sounds super low and dark, you'll want to boost the high or cut the low and then if your voice is super high you'll want to cut the high and boost the low now coming over here reduce background noise I have never really used this too much because generally speaking I'm using like this great microphone right here if you don't have this and it's like a real big roomy sound and it's echoey and acoustic sounding then you might want to use this setting here now the next setting is this little speedometer icon and what this one does is you can actually change the speed of your videos and specifically your audio. You can change it to normal, slow, fast, freeze frame, or custom. Now over here, once you change that setting, you have smooth, reverse, and preserve pitch. Reverse will little reverse the audio so you can literally talk backwards all the way through if you wanted to do that. Preserve pitch is great. Now when you click on a different speed, it's going to change the pitch of your notes. So if you want to sound a chipmunk, you'll want to do fast. If you want to sound like a monster, you'll do slow. But if you want it to be the same as your natural voice and you just want to speed up how fast you talk, you'll want to hit on this preserve pitch. So that way it'll keep your voice normal and then only speed up or slow down the video and keep your voice the same. And the other one right here is these three circles. These are all of your filters. So you have clip filter, that doesn't do much for me. Or you can do audio effect. And audio effect will go ahead and bring up this window and you can change different sound effects very similar to the GarageBand ones because obviously they're the same company muffled robot cosmic and a million different others between echoes or different size brooms so you could be in like a small room office or you could be in a cathedral which is just a super large space any of those I generally don't use those unless I'm doing something like comedy and they specifically tell me they want to have this sort of sound all right, so those are just some of the general settings that we can do. Let's talk about the other thing that you can do. You can go into this audio library over here, and this is gonna be where a lot of your importing of different audio will come from. Now music, this syncs with your iTunes library, and you can go through and see that you have all of your iTunes library songs in here for the playlist. Now within your music library, what you can do here is you can also upload your individual songs that you download, or you could use the songs that you have from iTunes. Now sound effects, if you go ahead and click on this one, it'll upload a sound effects library. Now here's something super cool, is from here, it's just the sound effects, but you can actually click on this folder icon over here, and you can find all the different presets they've uploaded for you of all the different sounds. So if you want a specific sports sound, you'll click on that folder, and they have all these different effects for basketballs, golf, pool, tennis, and anything else. Now, um, for the other settings, there's a whole big library of these. So I'll just hit the general sound effects. Something that I like to use, bottle cork. If you want to use text for a sound effect, I'll use this bottle cork sound. See if it plays. 
And so that's a good one if you want like a text to pop on the screen, I'll use that bottle cork sound a lot actually. And then GarageBand, like I was saying before, if you import it to GarageBand and fix it there, you also have an option here. It'll sync with your GarageBand library. And that is where you can re-upload that as well if you want a shortcut and you don't want to deal with all the exporting and importing it. Also up here in music, if you go into the sound effects though, you also have this thing called themed music. And these are some general songs that you can also use in your project as well. They're not super great. If you want to just play around with it for settings, you can do that as well. Okay, so now what we're going to do here is I had a few questions about how are we going to balance the background audio with some main audio or if they want to swap and take over, which one is louder, which one is quieter. We'll go ahead and do that right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and import my background track underneath the main video. And of course we want to keep that all the way through the end of the song. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and keep placing those where they end. And that way we can match everything all the way through. Okay, now as you can see right here, we do end on different points. That's totally normal. Go ahead and find the end of our clip here. Select your bottom track and hit command B and we're going to delete that so everything matches on the last second together. How are you going to balance when there's a person talking compared to the background audio? I'll just go ahead and drag this all the way to about between 10% and 20%. If you want it to be more quieter, obviously adjust as you go. And then you can go ahead and do the same for the rest of these and match them so that they're the same all the way through. Okay, and then from there, let's say if there's a time where you would want to have just the main background music playing and no one's talking, what I want you to do here is you're going to split clip the sections where you want them for the start and the finish. I'm going to go ahead and click on split clip right here. And once again, we're just gonna do this with the audio. We're not gonna do this with the video. So let's say in this specific section, if we only want the background music to play and not the main audio, I'm gonna go ahead and select this main audio and drop it down. And then I'm gonna select this background music and pull it up. So that way for this specific section, we split each section where we want it to start, where we want it to end. And now you can also drag this wherever you want to, to make one section quiet or one section loud. So after this end point, you're going to notice it switches back. You can do this as many times as you want to. Now a word of caution, just make sure that you select on the individual sound clip that you want because if you don't and if it's just by itself, sometimes you may notice that it clips the video and you don't wanna do that, you just wanna do the audio if you're switching between those two. And then the same goes also for sound effects. So if I had a sound effect here, let's say if I was doing some text on the top, then the sound effect here, you would just wanna make sure the sound effect level is higher than maybe your background music and talking but it's not overpowering. So here's where you use your creativity to balance the person talking to the background music and then the different sound effects. And you'll just use those audio levels if you want to. If it's super tiny like this, we'll just go ahead and zoom in. And you can select whichever one you want to be changing. And then you can use the panel over here on the top right, or you can use it individually inside the timeline. I hope that helps, but that's the way I would do it when you're trying to balance all the different things. Now, just a word of caution, most mainstream media is covered under what's called copyright law. I'm sure you've heard of it. If you haven't, then this will be super helpful when you're uploading. If you upload a mainstream song that's covered in copyright law, what happens is you might get this thing called a copyright strike, or your video will actually get flagged and taken down because you're using something that you do not have permission to use. And to keep this real concise is only use this for personal use. Don't upload it online. If you want to do any uploading online, what I would suggest is using a website called Epidemic Sound or Artlist.io. These are subscription based sites where they cover all of those rules and regulations for you so that you actually have a library of songs that you're able to use for online. So if you wanna do something simple like a family project or anything like that, you're more than welcome to use these songs and they actually have those for you available in your iTunes. Even if you wanna use Spotify, I'm not too sure how you can actually use a Spotify playlist with this yet. But what I would suggest you do is just go ahead and download the song so that way you have it in MP3 or WAV file formats. 
and that's how you'll be able to upload these into iMovie. Now keep in mind this is a free application and it does have very minimal limited uses. What I would suggest is if you want to upgrade if you're like oh my gosh this is just frustrating I need everything available to me where I know how to use it. I would suggest using something like Final Cut Pro or Adobe's Premiere Pro. Those are the main industry standard editing softwares. Like I said this one is a free one to use so definitely get started with this but when you are ready to upgrade definitely upgrade to those softwares. And if you found any value in this video tap the like button so more people can see this video who are just like you. I've been contacted by a few people already who have been interested in learning more specifically about iMovie. So let me tell you right now I do have a few slots open right now for one-on-one -on -one coaching still available but if you have a specific situation you want help with definitely leave a comment down below and I will be happy to help. And if you're a business owner or a YouTuber and you simply just don't have the time to either learn how to edit your own videos or you don't have the time to even edit them in the first place feel free to reach out in the comments or shoot me over a message on social media everything's in the description down below and then other than that i hope this helps a lot more and i'll see you guys in the next one